CPIB had been undertaking an unrelated investigation on a separate matter earlier. They updated the Prime Minister on this investigation in May. CPIB took some time to delve into the matter and they updated their findings to the Prime Minister last week on 5th of July. And at that time, they said they needed to interview Minister Iswaran as part of further investigations. Within a day, the Prime Minister gave his concurrence to the Director of CPIB to open formal investigations, and that started yesterday. I know Singaporeans are concerned and have many questions about this case. I'm unable to provide more information than what I've just said because the CPIB investigations are ongoing. So I ask everyone that we allow the investigation to take its course and refrain from any further speculation at this juncture. But what I would say is that this is concrete proof of how we do things in Singapore and how our system works. We have always upheld a clean and incorrupt system of government and our track record on this over the decades is clear and evident to all. And this is the foundation of the people's trust in the PAP government. The Prime Minister and I are fully committed to keeping and preserving this trust. So we will maintain a tough, zero-tolerance stance against corruption. We will be upfront and transparent, and we will not sweep anything under the carpet, even if they are potentially embarrassing or damaging to the PAP and to the government.